In this lecture, we'll learn about the basic static text element. This static text element is used for the text inside our graphic designer and our options. On the right side, in standard elements, you see that is static text. We draw a rectangle on the screen and after we have rectangle, you see that we have the static text inside our window. When you double click on this, you can change the text inside this element. Let's make start window. After we select the static text on top, you see that we can change the font settings directly. So we have the font type, font value, and some other options. Okay, let's make a little bit less this static text. Now on the left side we see the properties for this static text. So if we don't have this option we can make right click on mouse and make the properties. On properties we have some specific elements for this object, for object static text. We can make the name for the static text and if we make some scripts later we can go to object name with name of the text, the one. It's easier to find later. We have the geometry where we move our text on the screen. We can move this uh, pixel by pixel so it's easier to find the best position on screen for us. We can make the angle, the rotation, it's, it's normal. In the color tab we can select the colors for all elements inside this static text. So static text has the font color, the font white, font size, font type and uh, you, you can choose everything you want for this font. Okay, I tried to change the color for, for the static text but as you remember we choose the global color scheme at the beginning of this course. Now if we want to change the colors, the shadows in our application, we need to turn off global color scheme. In effects tab we need to make global color scheme as no. Now you see we have the blue static window text. Next we can change the background color, we can change the pattern color, border color, everything you want. I suggest you to make your own modifying here. In style you have information about the lines, so you can make the bigger line, you can make the dot space dot space line as you see. Graphic designer and if you make the visualization sometimes you need to make something special with special lines and WinCC in graphic designer can help you with this. In font type you have texts, is the text is displaying on screen, the font style, as you see I chose Arial Black, but Arial Black has bold inside this type, so I chose Arial. Now you see I make the bold and our text is bolding and unbolding. 
you have normal construction for the text bold I italic underline or orientation you can make the vertical and horizontal text so if if you need this it's good and you have the X and Y alignment so if you want to have the alignment to left or right you can use this with X alignment and if you have the vertical text you can use Y alignment and for example if your static text is bigger bigger rectangle you can make this in the middle of this rectangle as you, as you see I, I'm choosing different settings so you can make the same inside your WinCC okay let's make the static text a, bit, a little bit smaller in flashing tab we can create some flashing flashing lines flashing backgrounds and flashing text if you want to make the good alarm recognizer for operator we need to make some flashing on our screens so operators know that this element has some problem so if you make the good uh, flashing inside your application for the core elements you can make operator to understand better what's wrong with your system with industry system in miscellaneous tab you have information about authorization level or if operator or technology can operate with our elements if operator control enable is no so no one can click on this during runtime you have the display display is showing or unshowing this element when runtime is running you have the tooltip text so if you make your mouse over this object this text will appear I will make some tooltip and uh, we need to test this later in configured languages we can make the other languages but right now we have only one in filling you have the dynamic filling options so we can fill for example the tank with water or fill the text depends of something it's up for us and uh, on the last tab as you remember i i choose the effects it's the col color scheme but also the object transparency so if you put some text on uh, some elements you can make this with transparency so you see the elements uh, on background but you see also the static text on the foreground now we start and activate our screen as you see I configured my text and it's flashing it's the same screen and you see now the tooltip option when my mouse is over this static text object let's close and uh, let's change some properties of this object I suggest you to make your own settings and uh, try uh, configure your static text as you like now you see I turn off the flashing and I ch change it 
a little bit the font size now the font color will be changed after we run the runtime okay let's let's run okay now you see it's different settings the same text but different settings and if you want to create more static text is just to configure how you like